So did that Altair come with a, like a, did it have a screen and a keyboard and a mouse? No. No. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> wow. Um, to use it, so the base unit's $500. 256 bytes of RAM, which that's 256 characters of text <laughs> about nothing. It's like two tweets. Yeah. It's not useful. Um, some people figure out really weird stuff you can do with them. Um, but that's the base unit. You can't do much. You can program it with some switches and lights on the front, but that's about it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can then buy a memory expansion board to go up to 4,000 bytes of memory. Ooh. Which is a big deal. You can yeah. get two of those, get up to eight. Huge deal. Yeah. Um, and you can get a serial card for it, which lets you transmit data in and out of the Altair over some wires. If you get that, then you can get a separate terminal, which is a little CRT display with a keyboard that can read data and write data out. So it's it's a package that you have to assemble, but it's approaching usefulness. So it's kind of there, right? Yeah. Um, it's actually the platform that Microsoft gets its start on. Oh, really? Yeah. So they, the first product Microsoft made ends up being the killer software app for the Altair. It's this thing called Basic, which is a programming language environment. Mm-hmm. Um, because once again, the best you can do on it is text in, text out. So you have to have some kind of text environment, and Microsoft writes that. Mm-hmm. Um, and that Microsoft makes enough money on that to stay alive. Okay. Um, and once the altar comes out and starts getting popular, of course, people clone it. People make copies directly. But also other hobbyists start going into market. And so that's where Apple starts showing up. We get the Apple One, which was a device that Wozniak built. And then Steve Jobs is like, hey, we could invest in this. Yeah. We could sell this to people. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats. And all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video. And this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay. I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button. Subscribe to curiosity with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. Throw that very